What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the 182 News YouTube page. Appreciate you checking out this video. Today, I'm gonna hit on the guitars that Tom busted out at Friday's epic Coachella performance for the boys in Blink. It was an insane show, amazing. I had to do an emergency podcast on Saturday to just discuss my feelings and emotions and kind of break down the performance. So check that out if you haven't yet. I did a video on Mark's bass guitars if you wanna see what he played that night as well. But for this one, we got to talk about the debut of Tom's new Fender Starcaster. No longer is he with Gibson. I was super stoked to see this guitar on stage. I didn't know which ones he was going to play. We've seen several colorways. We've seen some rad art on a lot of these. But ultimately, I was curious to see which one he pulled out. Which ones does he prefer? So the very first one we saw, it's actually a shell pink. If you're not looking super close, you may think this is white. It's a shell pink this is one that is all stickered up. So if you look at this, I personally think these are the perfect combination of his Fender Strat days and the Gibson days with kind of a bulky semi-hollow uh, hollow body guitar. I think it's just a perfect combination. So I know some folks may miss the Gibsons. I don't. I said in the podcast, heck those Gibsons. I didn't think about those Gibsons once during that show. So he busted this one out with the stickers. I'm a sticker strat guy, so I'm all about slapping up your guitars. I think it's super rad. I love the Bad Religion sticker, the Big Descendant sticker. And if you look closely, there's actually a Blink Anime sticker, which is really, really rad. This is the first Blink sticker ever made, and there was a special point in the set, me being the Blink memorabilia nerd that I am, I noticed Mark had a sticker on his Relic Bass, and Tom was playing this guitar with that Blink sticker on it as well. So gosh, 2023, Mark and Tom back on a stage together, both with the original Blink sticker on it. Come on, so sick. So he busted this out. Uh, you'll see that if you look closely, there are Blink smiley inlays on the fretboard, which is insane. I'm told those are do uh, done by a dude named Ron Thorne, who has actually done these in the past for Tom on some of his strats. So that's a, a really sick, gnarly detail on these. Um, and it's just badass looking. It's really, really sick. So I'm stoked. Right away, I see Tom come out, you know, backwards hat, sick to the star shirt, brand new Starcaster, all slapped up. I, I just thought it was awesome. I really did. And then to go into like Anthem 2, <laughs> I mean, come on. Absolutely insane. The second guitar he busted out, uh, the Gear 182 dudes called this the Penis Caster, and I'm going to go with that. I think that's pretty funny. I will note, the guitar we just talked about, I was going to call that like the anime guitar or like the sticker guitar, but Lutz from the Sticker Strat crew actually dubbed it the Sticker Caster, and I'm going to go with that. So the first guitar we saw, the Sticker Caster. The second one, I heard the Gear 182 dudes call this the Penis Caster. I'm going to go with the Penis Caster. If you look close on this, uh, you'll see a lot of just crazy artwork done by Tom. Uh, you've got the Tiger here. I love how it says, uh, I guess this is throwing up. I mean, if you just look at this, this is Tom. This is Tom with his blink humor. It's just, it's a work of art from Tom, no doubt about it. Uh, we didn't see a ton of this one, but he did bust that one out. And it looked rad. Uh, again, same exact build, uh, same exact fretboard with the inlays. These were all built by a dude named Brian Thrasher, really rad guy. Uh, check out his Instagram. He's done a ton of behind the scenes on these. So it was really cool to see these put together throughout the past few months with this transition to, to Fender. And then to finally see these on stage. I mean, it was it was just a culmination of like so much rad shit and hype behind the scenes. So it was awesome. And then really the last one we saw and I will say, going into this, I thought this was my favorite. Like, no doubt, when I saw teases of this, I was like, this is the one. This will be my favorite Tom guitar, potentially ever. Um, this is an amazing work of art done by an artist named Sam Larson out of San Diego. My understanding is he does not take on, you know, many, uh, many projects. And he knocked this out, you know, for Tom being a Blink fan. So that's super, super sick. Uh, look at the art on this. I mean, absolutely killer. You got Skink and Rabbit. I love the smiley on the horn, Bigfoot. I mean, everything you could think of when you think of Tom is just right there laid out perfectly. He did bust this one out. I thought it was gnarly. But at the end of the day, you know, I was starting to think which one of these is my favorite. And I got to say, 
The sticker caster has won me over, folks. It did. It did. The sticker caster, bar none, is my favorite. I think it's mostly due to that anime sticker on it. And then I also like um, Tom added that that what I call the Tom Doodle. So a lot of you know I'm a, I'm a big Blink autograph collector. And I think it's really rad when Tom signs with his big T-O-M and it kind of looks like a little alien. And so since the last picture I saw, Tom has added that. And then he added that anime sticker. That's all I needed. That's a wrap. That's the one. So those were the three that we busted out, um, that we saw busted out by Tom. He has several more. I think he's got like 10 or 12, I feel like, that I've seen. So I was stoked to see what he, what he was going to play. He seemed to prefer the sticker caster for the standard e-tuning stuff. So I think that's going to be the one moving forward that we'll probably see on tour quite a bit. But, uh, you know, let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know if there are ones that you're stoked to see out on tour. And I'll tell you... I cannot wait to see these dudes on tour, hopefully here in a couple weeks. We shall see. All right, enjoyed it. Uh, drop your comments below. Be sure to sub to the channel. Talk soon. Peace.